Hello and welcome to a Cheap Show mini video. One take, no edits, cheap tat. Because I don't have editing software. So, on Cheap Show, as you know, we do a lot of things that uh, work for the podcast. But some things um, we want, but we, cust- we just can't do because they're too visual. And so I was looking in the shops today, charity shops, all that kind of stuff. And if you've been listening to Cheap Show recently, you know that we did a uh, episode all about magic. Magic sets, Paul Daniels, magic albums. Um, so these caught my attention. So what I've got today is something that I found in the works in Cambridge. They are a pound each, probably on discount, but they're on a magic theme. So here they are. Let's have a little look at this. What have we got here? Curious. Learn about magic. Collect all six. Includes one magic trick, one magic wand, tips, and instant video app. Well, that's nice, isn't it? You get some tr- magic stuff on there. Now, I had a good feel of the pack. And there were about 10 in the box. And I think about seven of them were this trick here, the levitating vase, which is where you feed a rope into the top and then you let it dangle from the vase. You think, how can that happen? Well, it's a ball bearing inside that attaches the rope to the inside neck of the vase. There you go. I've ruined that. Not so curious now, are we? So, curious, learn about magic, collect all six. I got three. Three based on the fact that I had a good old feel of them in the shop and from that gathered that most of them were that vase and let's buy what's left. So let's start with this one, shall we? See, I love magic tricks. I'm one of these people who wishes they had the um, talent and patience to learn magic, but actually can't be fucked. So by and large, uh, I want tricks to be very, very self-sufficient. Pull them out, play with them, and then job done. No learning necessary. So let's see what we've got in this first bag. So, no. Oh, the rope cutter trick. Oh, I like this actually. Did you know Herman the Great? This is actually interesting. Herman the Great created the modern look for magicians by wearing a cape, top hat, goatee, and tailcoat. This poster is from France, 1860. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. If you actually are interested in learning more about magic and certainly modern illusions of the 20th century, get a book by, I think his name is Jim. Oh, I knew I'd forget it now. But the book's called Hiding the Elephant. Hiding the Elephant. I can't recommend it enough. It's a fantastic book. Uh, Scan here for your trick. Master your own style. And it's the Master the Rope Cutter. I'm presuming this one's quite easy. Now, I like this. Can I just say, for no real reason, adding a small magic wand to this is a great idea. And frankly... I'm in love with this, so <laughs> here we go. Here we go. It's a little magic trick where you have rope fed through a little trick like this, and then I presume all you got to do is just go, uh, and it bloody severed it. I can't believe me eyes, madam. It's magic, and then shoo, back we go, and it works all over again. Again, that's nice, isn't it? Love a little trick. If you're a little kiddie wink and you want to learn magic, that will impress people in the schoolyard, I'm sure, until they take your dinner money away. Kapla! Magic, magic. Oh, kaplumph. So there you go, one. So far, great. For a quid, that, and tells you how to use it, and a little fact. It's all right, that. Next, what have we got? Oh. I'm going to go with this one next, because it's a boxy bugger. Let's have a little look inside of this one then. Another magic wand. I'm going to have so many magic wands at the end of the day. Excellent. What's this one then? This is called the Vision Box. Magically guess the colour selected by the audience. Okay, same fact there, same QR code there. Uh, here's all the six tricks, actually, while we're here. We can look at, we can look at the vanishing, look, the levitating vase, ball and vase, rope cutter, thumb and handkerchief, mystery drawer, vision box. So we've got the vision box here, I presume. Oh. So, you've got a little box. 
Made of cardboard, admittedly, but you know, fair enough. It's only a quid. I'm not going to judge it too harshly. So, how does this work then? That's that one. Rules and things. So, one, the secret box lets you see the colour selected by the audience. Pass the colour tube to the audience, turn your back, ask them to place the cube inside the box with your chosen colour facing up and to place the lid on the box. When the audience gives you back the cube, place it behind your back. Oh. Secretly turn the box on its side, take the lid, take off the lid and place it on top of what is now the top of the box, leaving the audience's chosen colour exposed. Well, so I, I pick red, I put red in, I put it behind my back, and then what? Secretly turn the box on its side, take off the lid and place it on top. Oh, so you do that. So, oh, I've chosen red, put the box, put it behind your back. And then when no one's looking, you go, oh, now I presume, but you bring the box in front of you because to everyone else, it just looks like this still. And then you go, oh, it's bloody red. <sighs> and then you've got to put it back behind your back, fix it all and then say, oh, I can't believe how I did it. But again, for a starter trick, not too bad. Makes sense. Lovely little trick. There we go. Third and final one. Oh, what's in this? It's a flat one. Have a look. Magic wands. Excellent. I now have three magic wands. Very happy, but don't know what to do with all three. Maybe I can give one to Eli and we can become dark wizards. Oh. Oh, it's a pretty little thing. Now, I presume it's just a magic drawer. Yeah, I'm presuming it's a magic drawer you can put. Can you put that in? See, you missed a trick there, mate. Could have used that as a prop. But what can I use instead? A memory card. So let's see how this trick works. I'm presuming there's a little gubbins to it that helps you uh, make it work. Again, same thing. What to say? Place the coin in the drawer as follows. Yes. Draw a secret compartment. Hold. Okay, so... Um, hold the drawer in your left hand with the top tilted towards you. Tilt the box away in the thing. That, yeah, okay, so it is going to be a little drawer thing. So I'd imagine you close it. See, it's in there. Oh, that's not great, is it? Okay, so here we go. Oh, I see, because it was... All right. Hang on. Shush, didn't see that. Right, I believe this is right now. Oh, you put it in. And then you go piffity puff puff. And it's gone. Oh, I can't believe me face holes. Oh, piffity puff puff. Oh. Piffity puff puff. Oh. Um, piffity puff puff. Yay! For a quid, these are all right. If you ask me, you get magic wands. Tricks that, considering you can get lesser quality versions of these magic tricks in magic sets, usually by Fantastic, um, that are piss poor, then these are really quite good. This one's a nice little one. A very simple little trick, really, when you think about it. But I like it. And it works. Oh, no, you saw it bloody works then. Oh, God. Uh, this might be my favourite one, just because it's so simple. Oh, magic. There we go. Um, For a quid. Great. Happy with this. It'll go into my box of magic tricks I play with once and never play with again. Right, that's another quick and cheap and cheerful cheap show mini video. No edits, one take. Uh, we might do more of these if proving successful. Likely that I won't, though. Thank you. Oh, subscribe. Ring the bell. Whatever the YouTubers with more people following them say. And if you want to go to our website, thecheapshow.co.uk, uh, you can listen to our podcast there. Uh, me and Eli looking for the bargain bins, charity shops, and um, pound lounge of Great Britain to find bargains and have a bit of fun with them. You can subscribe on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Podcast Addict, on Pocket Casts, on Casts. Not on Spotify yet, because they're dicks. Um, Google Play, although they mess up with our um, episodes as well. Basically, find a good podcast app, 
download Cheap Show. You'll have lots of fun. And if you won't, then tough.